Welcome to another episode of Ooh, What's That? Where I go over different apps and gadgets that I think are cool and interesting and I share them with you, the internet, so you too could think that they're cool and interesting, right? And uh, on today's episode, I am going to go over one of the three uh, NASs slash DASs that I got into. And uh, there will be links in the descriptions for uh, various different uh, words that I might use that you may not know about, right? So other related videos, which is what is the difference between a NAS and a DAS? Uh, that's in a DAO. And that's being the description, right? So the three that I'm going to go over are on the same network. They are on the AVAX network, right? Uh, actually, I'm not going over there. I'm just going over one. But I got into three. And the three that I got into were Louis Vuitton Vapor Nodes and um, Louis Vuitton Vapor Nodes Thor and Thor Nodes, right, is what I got into. So today I'm going to go over Vapor Nodes. Um, and on Vapor Nodes, uh, let's go to Twitter really quick. I think that Vapor Nodes is pretty, actually pretty cool because they uh, are on the AVAX network, but they're actually working towards creating their own smart chain, right? So I thought that that was pretty cool. Uh, right, so how to earn vape when Vapedex is launched. Uh, the, the State Vapes Farm, there will be a bunch of farms. That's April 27th. Oh, I wonder why I did not do that. So I'm going to have to look into this. I have not been keeping up with my NASs and DASs and DAOs, right? And you'll hear me complain about that in all of my NASs and DASs and DAOs videos that are probably coming out pretty soon, right? Because I'm making a couple of them. But um, yeah, you can see that they, 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 they tweet relatively often, not that often. April, we're in June now, so all of May, they didn't say a word. Um, but... Like I said, they are working on their own smart chain, right? So right here, the official Twitter account for Vapor Chain Network, right? So they're working on building their own smart chain, in which case, again, they are not tweeting that often. They're not tweeting that often uh, at all. But uh, I couldn't find a median for them, a medium, because I don't believe that this is their medium. And of course, we would just look up Vapor Notes, right? And with the vapor nodes, we are trying to find them. So this is the closest thing uh, that we get is this guy from March. All right, vapor nodes, Ghana, vapor phi, number one passive income. Let's see, vapor phi, right, which is vapor nodes. So it might be this guy. This this is a guy talking about it, and then we got somebody else, right, who's who shows us and is also talking about it. Uh, they don't have a snapshot, so I don't see anything uh, related to them uh, voting, right? But uh, if we check out the Coin Gecko, you can see how much I got. So originally I bought in, I got a thousand and one, uh, two dollars worth, cost me thirty-seven dollars. So right now I'm negative thirty-four dollars. All right, so I'm pretty heavy in the negative. But again, you only lose if you sell, and I don't sell in the negative. This is either going to die out on me or I'm going to hold it until it gets, I have enough to be in the positive. In which case, I actually think I'm already in the positive. So we will go straight into the app. And we're on, this is the website, vaporNodes.finance and uh, the how it works, about, etc., etc. You can learn about the actual node, what's the vision, what they're doing, right? And, and, and what they want to do, help people make passive income off their money and, and things like that and how it works. And uh, I am, this is what it looks like when you log in. My wallet's already connected. Boom. So you can see here that I actually doubled it. So I had 100, uh, 1,001. And as soon as I had, I think like 1,100, and then I put in again, right, uh, when it was much lower. And as you can see, my rewards are, are basically going up. So I think once my rewards hit like 3,000, I don't think I'm gonna reinvest. I'm probably gonna cash out, try to pull out my initial investment, uh, in which case all I would need is um, 30, basically 40 bucks. If I can make 40 bucks, that'll give me back my initial investment, right? So how much would we need, let's say, Prices stay like this, and we end up with three thousand. Well, that's not enough. So, how much do we actually need to make back our forty bucks? Oh snap! Twenty 
thousand is fifty. Okay, so what do we need? Ten thousand? No, ten thousand only gets us that much. Dang, so we're gonna be holding on for a while. Cause we ain't we ain't gonna make back our money unless the price go up, unless the price unless the price of the token goes up. But whatever, so we just gonna hold it until like I said, until it goes up or or I'm in the positive. But this was just another node that uh, uh that I got into. Um Node as a service, DOS, uh, DeFi as a service, and um, they were nodes is pretty cool. I kind of like them too. Um, I don't think they're working on a video game though. Almost all these nodes and DOSs are like DAOs are working on video games, play to earn games. They think that like that's gonna make money. No, invest in the in the in the cryptos in the chains. Invest in that. Take the cash that we're giving you and put them into the chains, <laughs> right? And because if they put them into the chains into the crypto chains, like buying. Cardano and Ethereum and, and, and buying more Bitcoin and buying more ETH, then when the prices of those things shoot back up, they would sell, take the cash and give it back to the investors. That's what they would do. And then as they get more money, more cash, they would just keep buying more when the dip comes but they would hold the cash until the dip and when the dip happens that's when they would buy and they would sell and they or at least take the money and put it into arbitrage bots let the bots let the arbitrage bots make us cash right something do something more than play to earn games and putting it into other nosses and dosses and dows that's stupid to me but whatever. With that being said, thanks for watching another episode of What's That? And uh, let's all remember that we all out here trying to do the same thing. Be happy and survive. Y'all stay blessed.